Hey everybody. Um, so we bought this uh, weather station um, deal here that we're going to use to keep track of the temperatures inside the cold frames. Um, one will be going in the one that we have up front and the two others will be going out to the uh, raised gardens where we had put the other cold frames. Um, just uh, an experiment to see, you know, what, what the temperature difference is between the outside temperature and the uh, temperature inside the cold frames. And uh, so we'll see how this works. Uh, this is a new winter wireless weather station. Um, don't really know anything about the product or how well it works, but that's what we're going to kind of look at. And, um, you know, we'll keep you all updated as this little experiment goes forward thanks hey everybody so we're uh, got this weather station deal that we bought and uh, so I'm going to put two of the sensors uh, out here in the uh, in the raised beds and we're just gonna try to keep track of what the actual temperatures are inside the um, cold frames so uh, as you can see, the sun's out today. Uh, it's about 18 degrees, um, and you can see the condensation inside uh, the cold frame. So, uh, you know, this will be interesting to to see uh, see what the difference in the temperature is. So, uh, I'm gonna get these put in, and we'll uh, see what happens. Put the sensor on top of a terracotta pot that we had flipped upside down, and the, the idea is just to keep the um, sensor out of the actual soil, um, and hopefully it will give us a more accurate uh, temperature and humidity rate. So the second sensor is going into the other high raised bed that we had. We had tried this in the um, one of the lower beds, um, but the uh, station inside the house was not reading it. So we're not sure if it was just out of out of range or out, basically out of line of sight. So we're going to try it in this one. And this one, as you can see, is snow covered uh, when I took the, uh, the polycarbonate off, and that's just because this is actually a six cold frame I had made, and um, so when I put it in place, there was already snow in the bed. So hopefully uh, this works better, and uh, we'll move on. So a couple of days after putting the raised beds in, um, we... Uh, Got some snow, which of course is nothing unusual here in Michigan, but um, this snow, uh, it was about eight inches or so. Um, and uh, so this bed that I, you see me cleaning off right here is the bed um, that's in the front of our house in our front garden. And um, it uh, obviously got covered. And I think some of the snow when we were clearing off the front porch got uh, pushed onto it, uh, unfortunately. And the polycarbonate collapsed down. So here I am just cleaning it off, pulled and pulling parley carbonate and just getting the bed uh, cleaned out. And um, the polycarbonate is very resilient because I pulled it out. It was still in one piece. Uh, I was able to pull it out, put it back in and reset the uh, thermometer um, so that, uh, you know, we can continue, try to continue with this experiment that we're doing with the temperature. So I'm trying to come up with an idea of how to support the polycarbonate so this won't happen again. Um, I'm thinking sheet metal strips uh, cut into maybe like one or two inch strips um, to uh, you know help support the polycarbonate, give it a little more structural integrity. So I got to think about that. If you have any suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Um, and you know we did get the temperature gauge uh, set back up. 
and uh, we had the same problem in the three other beds on the side yard however not as bad um, as this one this one was basically uh, completely collapsed flat but the ones on the side yard were just a little bit you know pushed one way or the other so i did get all those cleaned up reset the temperature gauges out there so um, we are going to start keeping a little bit closer track of the temperatures now that we have kind of everything set in place and uh, we will certainly update you all with uh, what's going on with that.